has been seen in public. And now the White House has announced the First Lady won't be accompanying her husband to the presidential retreat at Camp David this weekend. Last month, Ms. Trump was checked into hospital in Washington for what was described as an embolization procedure to treat a benign kidney condition. She, or someone with her Twitter password, tweeted about her absence on Friday, saying she was aware of the speculation around her whereabouts, reassuring followers she was here at the White House with my family, feeling great, and working hard on behalf of children and the American people. You're doing great, right there. You're doing great. Just looking at us, right there. Well, that was the president several days ago, the last time he mentioned the First Lady in public there. Now, there's been no sign of the First Lady in more than three weeks. Melania Trump did not go to Camp David with the president and the family this weekend. He was joined, you see here, by his children when he left Washington yesterday. Uh, Melania Trump was treated for a benign kidney condition in May, but had not been seen in public since, which has a lot of people wondering about her whereabouts. A few days ago, she tweeted, I see the media is working overtime speculating where I am and what I'm doing. Rest assured, I'm here at the White House with my family, feeling great and working hard on behalf of children and the American people. Joining me now to discuss is Huffington Post reporter Laura Bassett. Uh, the tone of that tweet, many say, sounds familiar, but let me ask you about why or what the explanation is from the White House of if she's doing work, why we have not seen her. Exactly. I think that tweeting was a really interesting way to try to end this speculation. It seems like all she really needs to do is just step outside of the White House, just show her face to prove that she's fine, to prove that everything's as she says it is. Instead, she gives off this tweet, which doesn't sound like Melania at all. It actually sounds more like her husband. She jabbed at the media a little bit. That's not something Melania usually does. And so instead of ending the speculation and putting out the fire, it just kind of fanned the flames. You know, there are some who say that she doesn't owe us an appearance because she wasn't elected. She's not a federal employee. In fact, CNN uh, contributor uh, A.B. Stoddard uh, wrote this uh, for Real Clear Politics. She wrote, Missing Melania Gate needs to end now. No, the First Lady doesn't need to resurface in a smashing outfit at a public event with President Trump. The media and Twitter, the Twitter mob, just need to let her be. What do you say to, to those who say that it's none of our business where the First Lady is? I mean, I think that, that it's a little bit of a double standard. People were practically pawing through Michelle Obama's trash when she was first lady. She, Melania is not just the president's wife. The first lady of the United States is a position in itself. It is her job to, to be seen, to be present, to participate. Every first lady before her has done so. No one has ever disappeared for 23 days before. This is a really conspicuous amount of time. And so I think that it's fair to ask these questions. Where is she? Why is the White House not being honest about what's going on? We should also point out, you know, for those who say that uh, she deserves her privacy, certainly she does. She is, she is uh, someone who, you know, again, is not a public official. But uh, the, the federal taxpayers pay for the home in which she lives, the cars and, and planes in which she's transported. She manages a staff of federal employees of 10. And if anyone were to ask, where are, where's the boss of these 10 people, this group of, of federal White House employees, and we were to ask, where's this person, to simply send out a tweet saying, I'm okay, things are fine, we probably would not accept that from anyone else working in the White House. Let me ask you about if this being potentially the new normal, we know that this was not a role that Melania Melania Trump initially wanted, should we expect that she'll be more private moving forward? You know, I, w I wouldn't be able to answer that question for hmm. her. I will say that Melania has always been a little bit more independent than other first ladies. There was speculation at the beginning of Donald Trump's presidency as to whether she might just remain in New York. She didn't necessarily want to move to D.C. She was pretty clear about that. She has at times not appeared at her rallies, done separate motor motorcades. I think she has been a more independent first lady this whole time. This is just really interesting timing because she's had a more high profile month leading up to this disappearance. And she was she rolled out her Be Best campaign. She hosted the state dinner. Everyone was talking about her fashion choices. Her her approval ratings have been ticking up. So I think it's just really.